Hello. So today I am going to show you how to connect make.com with your webp assistant and uh, from scratch I'm going to tell you that what is make.com and what is webp and uh, what are the ways you can connect webp with make.com and also what are the purposes of both of these and uh, we will make a simple automation kind of thing where uh, we will have a google sheet from google sheet we will uh, read our uh, data this is our sample google sheet that has some client information we will get this information and then we will filter it out based on this column uh, yes or no if this is yes it means we already called this number this uh, clients okay or uh, if this is no we will call based on this after that we will connect uh, if this is no then we go to the next uh, module and uh, i will tell you also what is module and uh, then after that we will make an assistant call uh, which is our web assistant this web assistant will uh, call to the customer based on the phone number and uh, also that then we will our assistant will talk to our client and after that conversation in the next video i will tell you that how we will get that information post call information into our uh, google sheet as a result okay so first of all this is a dummy data and let's first come to the make.com and create a scenario Scenario is nothing, just your automation. If you have starting new, you are creating a new scenario. Okay, so it is created. Now you can name it anything. Let's keep it at its default. And then, first of all, let's choose our first module, which will be in our case is Google Sheets. And uh, in purpose of reading something from it, we will select this search row. And uh, for the first time, you have to create a connection with your Google account. Let's create a connection. It's just authenticate, authenticating that uh, you have this Google account login uh, and uh, so that it can access to that Google Sheet. Okay, it is connected now. Uh, yeah, it is done. Almost done. Okay. So now, okay, it is connected. Now we are using this. We have you have to see the name of this spreadsheet. Uh, this is untitled spreadsheet. So select this one, and next it will ask for sheet name, which is in our case only one sheet. We have sheet one, and uh, se select this sheet one. After that, it will ask you that if you want table contain headers. Headers are nothing, just the name of these columns. Uh, so yes. It, and next uh, we have this filter here we will add a filter that we want to filter our data based on this column h status and what will be the value that we want to filter so we need no if this is no we want to uh, filter out those values so we just say no and uh, yeah keep as default other things and save it okay so let's add another module which will be in our case first of all we are getting let me tell you that what will happen first of all we read this this whole our spreadsheet into this first module then we have to separate them by iterator or here we have an iterator what this iterator will go will do is uh, okay we are reading it as this single value and each each column is rated as this so before applying an uh, iterator we need another module which is called array aggregator array aggreg aggregator what it will do it's just get these all columns that we have in our google sheet and uh, make a list around them or we say if you are a programming guy you know about the array it will uh, make a json structure of these and uh, then we will have this in the particular format okay just select this all you can also skip these extra values let's uh, just keep what we need what we need keep the separate id sheet client name company email phone number outreach date contact method follow-up method date of this these other columns are empty so we don't need them just leave them as it is save them and now we have uh, this array aggregator what next we need is iterator what iterator do iterator iterate through each of the array now currently we have those all data in this we are reading it and then making around them each each uh, row as an array and now we are we have an, we have merged that data around array or a json format now we, in, in that json we have multiple rows like this we have this row two three four five and so on so we need an iterator what iterator will do iterator will just uh, get one row at a time for further processing okay now we we have this array we apply this iterator to this so that we get only one entry at a time okay next we have we have read the one entry now in this stage we have suppose we have this this value okay so next what we are going to do is to probably we are going to connect our webp with this now here we have two two options to connect webp with our make automation first is a very simple one where we make an api call we choose this simply connect this with our webp connection for here it is asking for api key we just come to the webp dashboard so first of all you have to log into this website webp.ai then you will navigate to the dashboard and after that you will see this by default there is there is there will be an assistant this kind of and uh, you can create a new one as well but let's first of all let's go with this one okay now we need what we need is uh, webp's api key you come to organization settings and then api keys here you can copy the api key uh, it's loading okay so copy this one and come back to your make automation just paste it here and save it okay now it is connected with our uh, that uh, assistant okay now it is asking for uh, url okay this url is uh, as we we need to post request for our assistant uh, to we will post a request in which we pass some values like the phone number of client and some other configuration to the calling endpoint of baby and then it will call to that client and so on okay so in this url we're gonna paste this one with endpoint call okay uh, let me show you what is this you come here and uh, one second webp api reference you come to this page 
it is in documentation of it okay here you will go to api references and then you go to create call in create call you have this thing okay so first of all what you need to do is you can copy this url from here and this is the same i got it here and just paste it here and then post request content type is application json okay if you don't know about this you can just come here and click on this try it it will show you configuration settings uh, first of all it is asking to connect your uh, this token the same api key that we copied from here we need to paste it in here okay just paste it here and then it will say the authenticated means it is now connected to your api now what you need is to just uh, Okay, what we were doing is we need this header and what other thing that our call required is this authentication. We need to copy this authentication as well. As the same way, uh, come back here, create an, another item. This is the content of our uh, header. What are the things that we pass in our content? Okay, I paste it all, but we need to just paste this authentication as a key. And remove everything. And with this, in this section, we just need to pass this one. Okay, what is this? This is nothing but our API key, that same authentication key that we used there. Okay, and now it will authenticate us to that endpoint once we request to that endpoint. And uh, next, what we need is body. In body, what we need, wait. Okay. Let me see if we need anything in body. So you can first create it here and then we will copy and paste there. Okay, so the main thing that we need is uh, first of all is uh, assistant ID. Okay, so assistant ID, you can come in VP and uh, go to assistance and copy it from here. Okay, copy it and go and paste it here. It will create this thing and you can see this is creating a body. And uh, okay, now this is the first thing. Another thing that we need is, uh, I guess, uh, okay, so probably it is a phone number. No, leave this. There is another option. I think we can get it from this customer. Okay, if we go to customers, then we have a further options where we probably have a number. Yeah, click this number and in here you can pass the number from that mail.com. Leave it as it is for now. We will figure it out later. Okay, this this will just check the format of uh, phone number. Is this correct or not? Okay, so I think we are good to go for now. If we need anything else, we will uh, add it. So now we come here in body section. We need just this thing. Make sure you remove this thing before and also this last column. Then now I think uh, we need nothing other than this for now. Just save it. Okay. Now just test it out. Okay. We have some issue in here. Let's see what is the error. Okay. E not found. API. A, what is this bro? API boy assistant customer number. What is? So we need to delete this module because this is make an API call. Instead, we will use another one uh, from the same WP module. Select WP and then create an outbound, outbound call. Okay. And in this, you have to paste assistant ID. Uh, assistant ID is something that we have in here. Uh, let's copy it from here first. In assistance, really, uh, this one. Copy this one and uh, come in make, paste it here, and then customer phone number. Okay, what you say? Must not be empty. Must not be empty. Okay, next we have a phone number. In phone number, we just paste this one. Client's phone number and the phone number ID is our assistant's phone number. Copy it from here, go back, paste it here, and save. Now, it's, now let's run this and test, and it's successfully executed. So, this is how we can connect our make with wp.ai, and uh, furthermore, we will discuss in the next video. Thank you for watching.